What's up, my Crusaders for Christ? Y'all know the joke. Go to YouTube. Go to the at sign. Go, go, go team. Like and subscribe. We're going to keep talking about idol worship. But first, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you for all of your love and support. Because I will tell you, I am still humble to this day that the Holy Spirit works through me and uses me as a vessel to bring glory and glad gratification to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to the kingdom of heaven. Because yesterday, I had a moment of doubt. Now I know it was just the enemy, but I had a moment of doubt. I said, really, Lord? You want me to talk about idol worship and bring up the Easter bunny and it's close to Easter? Oh, what am I doing? What if somebody gets mad, right? I walked in obedience and the Holy Spirit told me to post it. We we're going to have this conversation. And so I did. My human side was reluctant. But now I know it's the enemy because you guys reached out to me and you said, thank you so much. That really touched me. I really needed to hear that. So just know that I'm so grateful um, for you guys and to be a vessel. And I still very much am human and walk in doubts and fears. And the obedience part is not easy. Anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about idol worship. In Psalms 20, verse 7, it reminds us, Some trusted in chariots, some trusted in horses, but we trust in the name of our Lord, our God. This verse is a stark reminder that the ultimate reliance should come on God alone. Not on human strength, not on weaponry, not on political influence. In our modern era, you guys know that idolatry, idol worship can take place in various forms. It can be entertainment, celebrities, musicians. Um, it could be your favorite sports team. It can be greed, power struggles, fame. Any of these things can be an idol. Anything that takes place over our devotion to God can become an idol. And in fact, Paul tells us, put to death, therefore, whatever belongs of the earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed. Idolatry or idol worship is not merely an act, but it's a condition of the heart. So keep that in mind. We can still enjoy things and not have to worship them. God knows your heart. Paul reminds us in Romans 5, 8, those who live according to the flesh have their mind set on fleshly desires. Those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mind, spent on, mind set on spiritual desires. Whenever we indulge in Whenever we indulge in desires of the, the flesh, we can stifle our spiritual growth and our obedience to God. As Christians, we are called to guard our hearts against idol worship. We need to examine our lives regularly and ask ourselves, what and whom am I truly serving? I love you with the love of the Lord, and let's go, go, go. Tell the world about Jesus.